mantra that we can use in order to arouse that feeling of metta or loving-kindness. Other than mantras, there are visualizations. If you're more of a visual person, you can imagine certain things visually. I tend not to recommend this because it's for those of you who are visual people, you can get quite caught up in visions and sights and images in the mind. And usually these are a distraction. It's not very often that they're actually really real and really useful. But because they kind of appear magically in the mind, it can feel as if you're having some kind of supernatural insight. Actually, it's just vision. It's just a, an image that has arisen in the mind. There was one chap, he came to the temple, he caused all kinds of trouble. He was a French guy. Not that being French has anything to do with it. But. And he, he, he caused all kinds of trouble and he said that he didn't want to get a visa and that Buddha never gave visas to his monks so that he shouldn't have to get a visa to stay in our temple. And he had a thing, he would have these visions and these visions would come to him really stark and really clear and give him teachings and very often there were visions of uh, monks in temples famous monks, usually deceased and he had a vision one day of our abbot, former abbot who died in the fifties appeared to him with a great dhammachaka, a great big wheel and this wheel was turning in the vision and then this monk came and stopped, took hold of the wheel and stopped it from turning. And so this man, he took away the teaching. He said, well, I have to stop these wheels from turning. And in my mind, it was quite clear. There's a guy who's always thinking, can't stop thinking. And I said, well, you've got to stop this turning in your mind. And he said, no, no, it means that I can't go to Bangkok because I'd have to get in a vehicle and that would turn wheels. <laughs> anyway, we threw him out of the temple eventually. And he, he came back again like 12 months later, he caused trouble again and we threw him out in the end. There's not, you know, there's only so much you can do. He also went to Wat Bananachat a couple of times and got turfed out. And I had actually told my abbot, who was the head monk of Thailand, about this guy and I said, we have to be careful with this guy because he causes trouble. And then one day he turned up at my door and he knocked on my door. He said, hey, I'm here. And I said, I can see you that. We've turfed you out a couple of times. He said, but you told me to come. I'm like, what? He said, yes, you appeared to me in this big vision and told me to come to your temple. So I don't recommend that you really follow the visual things that arise in the mind because they can be a real distraction and can appear very beautiful or very intricate and very interesting but they are not usually anything that is really profound or useful. There are some visualizations